What's up guys, it's Joe Coach Jenkin and Kian. Today we're here to look at my Dell 27 monitor. But first... Don't you just love taking the plastic off? <laughs> Enough chit chat, let's plug this guy in. Powering our monitor would be my Alienware 17 R4. There we go, Dell! <laughs> I mean, having Alienware, one should have Dell, right? Oh wow, okay. Let's get down to it. What are the pros? Well, to start off, we have the steel base, which is rather hefty, you might say. The built-in speakers with a combined output of 12 watts. Got bass. Actually, on reflection, the speakers are pretty badass. Take a listen. <laughs> Around back, it's easy to see that this monitor is so thin, which makes it really easy for you to set up a keyboard and mouse without protruding into your work area too much. The Infinity Edge display, which makes an iMac look relatively archaic. HDR and 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. 60 hertz, 6 millisecond response time. But wait, there are drawbacks, as always. <laughs> It's sure ain't cheap at 550 US dollars for an FHD monitor. The option to have one HDMI port in only. No NVIDIA G-Sync. You know, they included AMD's FreeSync, but I mean, who cares? So in conclusion, taking everything into account, should you buy this? Well, if you're the kind of guy who cares about thumping bass, Sleek looks. <coughs> the badge! How she feels. Because HDR, bro. Pretty much everyone wants HDR nowadays. It really comes down to whether you can stomach the price of 550 US dollars. But if you can, then I would highly recommend the Dell 27 monitor. Dell, no. So why did I buy it? Because the iMac is not a monitor, it's a computer. Get it right, people. What are you waiting for? subscribe buttons right there just click it <laughs>